one of the most important parts of the day in our classroom is our independent reading time. I know that time is really special and important to you, and so I want us to try and recreate that time for you at home. We know that the more our eyes and minds are in our books, the more we are growing as readers and as writers. So let's think about how we can set up some really great independent reading habits at home. All the way back in September, we learned some really important strategies to build those independent reading independent reading habits. And one of those strategies we learned was how to choose a just right reading spot. Choosing a reading spot is very important because different people concentrate best in different types of environments. And over the year, you've learned what spots in our classroom feel best for you to do your best, most focused reading. Maybe that's curled in the closet, maybe that's sitting up against the stage, maybe that's sitting at your desk or in the blue chair. You have an idea in your mind of where you do your best reading in our classroom. Today, I want you to test out some spots in your house to find a place that's going to work as a just right reading spot for you at home. You're going to need to think about what you need to be focused and to do your very best work. Here's some things that you might want to think about. Is your perfect reading spot a place that's bright and has a lot of light? Is it a place that's dim, has a little less light? Is it someplace totally quiet? Or is it someplace with a lot of noise? Or maybe you're in the middle and you like some quiet music as you read. Do you like a soft, cushiony seating? Or do you like hard seating like a stool or a kitchen chair? Some other things you might wanna think about. Do you prefer to read laying down or sitting up straight? Or maybe you prefer to read while you're standing up. I want you to think about all the things that make a just right reading spot for you. So when I use this list to think about where I read best, I definitely like a place that's quiet. I don't like a lot of noise when I'm trying to focus on my reading. And I also like a place that has soft seating. So I prefer to read on the couch or in my bed. But I also know that when I read, I need to read sitting up. So sitting up in my bed or sitting up on the couch, otherwise I might fall asleep. So those are three things that I look for in a just right reading spot for me. Today, your job is to think about what makes a just right reading spot for you and to find one in your house where you can keep your eyes and mind in your book for your independent reading today. Once your reading time is all over, you're going to come back onto Seesaw and you're going to tell me about what spot did you choose, why did you choose that spot, and how did it go for you? So you might say, today I chose to read on the couch in our living room. I chose it because it's a comfy spot and I like to have comfy seating and my brother and sister were in another room so it was nice and quiet for me to stay focused. It went really well for me and I'll use that spot again tomorrow. You might also come back to me and say, I read in the kitchen because it was bright and it had hard seating. And that's why I chose that spot. But I realized that sitting on a hard chair doesn't work well for me, so tomorrow I'll try out a new spot. I wanna hear about how it goes for you and how you, have, how you have worked to find a just right reading spot in your house. Can't wait to hear about what you try. Happy reading.